captain of a small boat passes out drunk, his passengers decide to stop at a nearby island and explore until the boozer wakes up. Soon enough, they meet the madman who owns the island, only to be hunted by him that night. If this story sounds familiar, I'll get to that in a moment. Ralph Brooke directed, produced, and wrote the film, but never really gave credit to Richard Connell, who wrote The Most Dangerous Game. You know, the famous story that this entire movie is based on. The movie also stars Wilton Graff, June Kenny, Walter Brooke, Robert Reed, and Eugene Person. His last name is Person. You literally have a guy who's just a person. Okay. Robert Reed may sound familiar because he was Mike Brady in The Brady Bunch. I just realized this audience probably has no idea who The Brady Bunch is. Getting back to the movie, the acting is bland and the dialogue is poor. It feels a bit slow and dated, but I can understand why. It was made in 1961, after all. It's kind of hard to stay timeless when you're that old. And that poorly made. Conceptually, it is scary, and I do like the trophy room, but all of the good things about this film are because it is based on the most dangerous game. I want to be able to tell you that there's a lot to this film, but honestly, there isn't. Yes, there was effort put into it, but it's got nothing to show for it. It comes out boring, and even the stuff that was good really wasn't that exceptional. In fact, there was more to complain about than there was to praise about. But overall, it just came out being pointless to me. And as with all movies that I watch that really do nothing for me, it came in at a 5 out of 10. I'm going to have to find a better adaptation of The Most Dangerous Game and tell you how it went. Until then, see you later.